The priest was pushing me, and they said, "Call that not started." Ah. In Nigeria, Nigeria, you don't answer a question. Nigeria, you don't answer a question. It seems as if you have coconut head or something. You hear that they always say there's no stupid question. I don't even remember to check my phone. So here, if the metro is six o seven, the metro gets or leaves there six o seven. Go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? I got in the in the in the Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, your boy Pare in the building. And I'm I am with uh Matthew. Matthew Ade. Okay, Ade. Oma. Osarigwe. Okay. Actually this is going to be a uh, more of an interactive and a chip chat video where we will talk about life in the UK, live as a student in the University of Sunderland and uh, Northern Bright University. I promise you, if you watch this video to the end, you are going to learn so much. They are going to talk about the challenges, the experience of coming to the UK, studying in the UK. Yes, and also the 14 days isolation and everything so let's get into the video meanwhile we are going to consume all these uh, <laughs> lovely dishes that you <laughs> we are going to devour this meat while we we'll talk throughout the video okay yeah <laughs> when, when, when you are not a lioness <laughs> So who prepared this? Who prepared this uh, dish? Stephanie First of all, mm -hmm. wow! <laughs> who prepared this? Wow! Mm -hmm. This is nice. What do you think about this, Matthew? How do you know it's nice? You not know, tasted it. That was tasted it. It looks mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it looks nice, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thumbs up. So, ladies, uh, how has it been coming all the way from Nigeria to study in the UK? Let me start with Ade. Um, it's been an awesome experience. Having to leave Nigeria again next September 13th, excuse September 13th, 2020. Um, it's an awesome experience getting to the airport and then from there I take another flight. When we got to the airport though, we had we missed our uh, direction and we waited for like one hour wow. stand, one hour 30 minutes stand. So that is a three hour stand. It was a very funny experience, awesome. but it was okay. Then I'm getting to school. I told you need to spend time for 14 days, and that was when the whole world game started. That's why it's been uh, nice. You know, it's only easy staying indoors for 14 days, and then um, yeah. the experience wasn't so. But you want to go out, you want to know places. So like me, my course hadn't started fully then. So when I came, like let's say two weeks before my program started, so I had opportunity to like want to go out but it was not feasible because of the 14 days but thus far it's been awesome but Sunderland University accommodation gave you guys relative so think <laughs> 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 yeah. and you know part of the Sunderland accommodation <laughs> Oh, they gave yeah. you guys palliative? Yes, so they gave them palliative. Yeah, they gave, and ah. I, I got palliative from I got school yeah. because I couldn't go out to buy anything, though I brought my local food stuffs from Nigeria. But the school, kudos to the school, they gave us a lot of palliatives. I went a long way to help me because I couldn't go out to get it. They, they, they gave us a treat. Anything, just name it, we had it. Okay. During the that was nice. Oma. Well, I, I'd say we had the same experience because we came together. Um, it was this to get into the airport, um, coming into the UK, the first cold I experienced. <laughs> that was at Newcastle. Mm. Like, I was just wearing a, a t shirt and. And you forgot to wear your. Yeah, and I forgot to wear my trainers. She checked in her trainers. She my trainers. I went and came to the bus. You thought because, you were in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I when we landed in Newcastle, we came outside like it was just like I was going to freeze. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Are you in, inside the freezer? I had to quickly look for my um, winter jacket and put on immediately. 
Uh, so far, so good. The experience has been uh, a very wonderful one. It has been a very wonderful experience. Oh. Yeah, Osaro, how was your experience coming over to the UK? Uh, well, I had a very nice experience because I traveled in with my aunts. So, um, from the zip border control or everything, the Nigeria airport or the stuff that went on there, I was guided. Then I had an issue because I had extra luggages. I had to repackage and repackage and repackage. Oh, we didn't have that I issue. finally got 23.3 kg. Then finally, uh, I bought it um, with my friends that I met online. When I got to the UK, actually, when I got to the UK, man picked me up and it was nice entering the UK. Like I, I couldn't really believe that I was in the UK. It was very cold, actually. And I think the first thing I noticed was the fact that they drive. Um, it's right yeah. hand. Sorry, they drive with their right hand. Yeah, on the right hand. Yeah, and I carried them for two days in London before driving down to Sunderland. It was a very nice experience. I'm grateful to be in Sunderland. One more thing, the cold. <coughs> Cool. Let's start with their weather. Why are you so deceptive? Oh, their weather is deceptive. Like one minute is sun is shining, next I, minute is everywhere okay. is so cold. I yeah. had one experience after my quarantine. You know, when we got to the airport, let me start from there. The cold was so mad that at that point, no girl's only remember that she had to bring out her trainers, her sneakers from the, from the luggage and wear it immediately. So when we arrived, we didn't have issues while we were in our rooms. But there was a Sunday after our quarantine, the sun was so beautiful. Mm. I'll never forget that day. And um, <laughs> these two human beings here decided to go to church and not dress properly. Okay. These two people here decided to go to church. And me, the problem I have with the cold is I don't like this yeah, winter jacket. It's so inconvenient. It's so much of like, for me, it's load. So I have no choice. But you have no choice. So I have this fanciful jacket, this fanciful, what would I call it? That show, you know, very fine, netted. And has hair, <laughs> so maybe probably I went to like oh the sun today. Let me wear something light. That is called light here. Yeah, you can imagine what I can't wear that in Nigeria. <laughs> I go to church. By the time the service ended, I knew what it was. I didn't know what it was. The, the, co- the priest was, was pushing, was pushing <laughs> me, and they say cold has not started. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and so I'm wondering, cold has not started. When the real thing comes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm-hmm. Yeah, we are going to experience more cold December and January period. So Matthew, you have been here close to one year, right? Yeah. Okay, what's your experience studying in the UK? Because you were here before COVID. Yeah. And what can you tell us? Um, I think I will start from where the stop. The cold. Um, it's true. It's not even cold now. Like, it's not cold at all. Now. Yeah, because I can remember when I came in, in January it was really freezing. Like, if my auntie had not come around like to pick me, probably if she had come five minutes late, probably I would just die there. <laughs> just wow. my dead body in the cold, like. Mm. Because I was just there, I couldn't do anything, I was freezing, like it was cold. And hopefully there won't be snow this time around because I have was it two years ago? It's really snow. Like they have to stop school, stop everything because you know, like snow. Everywhere. Literally, yeah, covered with snow. So hopefully it won't be now because uh, that might really be another. No, no, no. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> to me, snow will be more I dangerous think, this I year think it's snow. than last year. Did it snow? It did not really snow. That last year. Like, we only saw snow like one, snow, or two, just one, two, day, two three, three, three days. days. But yeah. now, if you wake up in the morning, you, you look see, outside. Uh, so we, we don't know what might actually mm. happen, but hopefully it won't really, you know. But I, that. But I, I want it to snow. You want? Yeah. <sighs> okay. I really want to experience snow. <laughs> you definitely want to do the snowman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. But in October, uh, it's it's been nice actually, but okay. you could imagine like I am paying fifteen thousand quid for my master's degree. So it's you know just imagine we have that kind of money in Nigeria. A millionaire, fucking millionaire. Yeah. So are you telling us that what you are paying so, is too much? Yeah. I, I'm not saying it's too much, but it's too much. Indirectly, <laughs> you're saying it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. But it's been wonderful anyway. Uh, coming down here, you got to meet a lot of people from different races. I've got a lot of Indian friends, Kenyans, and all that. So it's okay. been alright. So why United Kingdom? Why not Germany? Why not uh, Australia? Why not uh, uh, Canada? Please. I chose to study in the UK because of um, 
the fact that people, um, you meet people from like different races. This is only in the UK because I think um, about a few weeks ago we're still sharing the same time zone with Nigeria, Nigeria but yeah. they just turned the clock back yeah. once. Yeah, I said that was part of the reason why I started studying because I can easily communicate to my parents that the time zone is not so drastic. Mm. Well, for me, I, I chose UK because of the proximity to home. Um, during holiday, you can decide to go home. It's yeah. very close. Okay. Um, also, uh, I chose UK. Well, I, I think um, having um, UK education uh, is more valued in Nigeria than uh, any other country. I'm just feeling that. Yeah. yeah, I'm just feeling having a UK education is more valid in Nigeria than any other country. I think UK has a standard level yeah. of education, yeah. and even other countries come into UK to study. Yes. Yeah. So, and their yeah, yeah, standard is the same in all universities in the UK. Same or non universities. And then they take you through the process. The guy from the little time I spent with my lecturer here now. We take it through the process, and it's been an awesome experience. So I think UK is what is really what coming to study. And also, um, unlike in Nigeria, if you're talking in the UK, you are guaranteed of when your course is starting and when your course is ending. But in Nigeria, you are not sure of your start date. How much more the end date due to strikes and what have you? And I also noticed that um, the teachers or lecturers here are very friendly. They yeah, want you to learn. Yeah, but in, in, in Nigeria, questions. we don't answer a question. It seems as if you have coconut head or something. <laughs> yeah, mean, like you always say, there's no stupid question. I've been doing online yeah. lectures, and then um, the system hasn't gone up one day. I've been doing online lectures, and anytime I go online, I don't even remember to turn my phone. You know, the lighting system is low. As if it's low. No need to rush to iron your clothes. No need to rush exactly. to Exactly. And then the light is always there. When you are when you are in your class and because of the fine time you do online lectures, your lectures are before you, when you open it to see the class for today, like my class for tomorrow is, is ready. All I need to do is read through now and tomorrow what we do is discussion. You know, not like Nigeria, they'll say, give me what I give you. Input and output, that's the Nigerian system. But here you give them from your own yeah, knowledge. Understanding. You are adding to knowledge. But in Nigeria, it is feed me what I fed you with. That's it. But here it's, it's dope. Okay. Uh, Matthew, you have worked in the UK for, for some time now. What can you say about working in the UK? What experience do you have? And is it hard to get a job in the UK as, a, as an international student? Um, uh, it's not hard getting a job here. But I think the only thing is just a, 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 you know, starting like your documentation. It takes a while, like you know, stuff like you getting your NI, getting your DBS, and stuff like that. So they have a proper documentation here, which is very good. Though it takes time, but it's very, very good. So, and once you have things like that. If you work with a particular private company or agency, if you want to probably apply to another, you simply check your online DBS and so it makes the whole process faster after that. And uh, so that's how it does, that's how it is here. And um, working in UK has been wonderful actually, unlike uh, my country, you know. It's, it's um, um, an hourly thing, so it's not, it's like wages, unlike in my country that you, you have been paid majorly like you know, every month or stuff like that. So it's hourly and that And you're sure you're getting your pay? I'm telling you, like, you know, it's not as if you say okay no, they are paying you, you have two months salaries yeah, and stuff like that. So it's, yeah. you know <laughs> what you do you get. It's you no know, very okay, yeah, yeah. Well um, I don't have any uh, I've not gotten a job here, but um I'm looking forward to yeah, getting to get a it. job. So I would love to experience the being paid weekly. Yeah, yeah, you get paid weekly, like every yeah, I, I, Friday, days, you know. Every like, Friday. You know, just check your down down there. Dun, dun. And, you know, so it helps you plan. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, it helps you plan ahead. Even if you want to probably have savings, it helps you, you know. And um, another thing here is that is that um majorly this parts of UK they deal with uh, 
health care, like you know, looking after the old people, like care homes yeah. and um, some others, you know, mental, health mental health, health hospitals. Right. Okay, so that's just the major thing here, and it's been wonderful. You know, it's, like you looking after the old, it's it's a rewarding job, like you know. So because one day you two you're gonna get old and there will be people to look after you. Oh, so nice. that's just how it is, yeah. Alright. So why is Sunderland University? <laughs> I chose the University of Sunderland because they have um, a it's called their teaching excellence framework. They have a silver teaching excellence framework. I chose the University of Sunderland because they just invested in the living lab. Like practical is I don't know how to explain it. They bring things that you think of to reality in the living lab. And unlike in Nigeria, some of our labs are not well furnished and stuff like that. Yeah, but in the living lab, you get to see so many, you get to see human mannequins and the rest of all that. I chose to start in the UK because, sorry, in Sunderland University because of the open door policies of lecturers. And I chose to start in Sunderland University because uh, of the support I got from the African team. They did a very good job in assisting me throughout my whole process. Well, um, Sunderland University has uh, a world celebrated academic span, which is why I chose this school. Um, it also has a very strong management program, which I'm doing one of them. I'm doing MSc in human resource management. So I think these are the reasons why I chose Sunderland University. And also, the support she talked about, yes, the African team. They are doing a great job supporting students, giving students guidelines on how to um, apply. Although I didn't use them when I was applying, but when I joined the WhatsApp group, they were giving enough support. They are quick to respond and all of that. So um, this is the reason why I chose some of them to invest in. Yeah, for me. They all they said the reason why we chose some of them. But one thing, one striking thing is you know when <coughs> I'm used to this fact that when somebody says this thing is like this, like you're going to get them and disappointed. <laughs> now, from that to Sunderland, everything they have just said is real. The lecturers that uh, you know they are up to date, they are they are loving, they care. I don't even go into the African team, what they did for all of that, you know. The, the the attention they gave us in our application process was too much. I think they knew everyone per time as in your process, where you are, where you ought to be now in the application process and all that. Now, I'm getting to Sunderland Sun University. Don't forget, they've already said all the reasons why we value chosen Sunderland. Everything is real. You know, at the point I'm like, I hope all the things you are really saying is true. It's real. And um, a few days ago, I had to go to the library and I saw this thing that we, always, we were always told. You know, the sea was there, it was a very beautiful sight to behold. So, everything about Sunderland is real. Their school fees is reasonable. I enjoy their bonuses. I enjoyed a lot of the bonus, you know, and then coming in again is awesome. Yeah, well, I, 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 I got an accommodation scholarship. So that's part of the reason, it's just like icing on the cake. Well, you didn't know you were going to get yeah, I didn't know, but I still got an accommodation scholarship. I also the African thing that. Nominated me. Thank you, guys. Well, uh, one of the reasons why I chose Sunderland again is because of the uh, it's surrounded by a beautiful beach, and it's somewhere you can just go to relax and think. If you're stressed, you can just take a walk uh, at the beach. You know what water does? It has a way of calming you down. So it's one of the reasons again why I chose Sunderland. And the environment is and. You don't spend so much. <laughs> yeah. The things that are really uh, cheap here. Yeah. Things From, are cheap. Yeah. Things are cheap in Sunderland. And one thing about yeah, it has it's one of the um, lowest. Um, yeah, and it's peaceful. Yeah. Very peaceful. Yeah. And I speak. My peaceful. school is close to the hospital. It's close to the um, not, um, city centre. I don't really need to stress. And then also in the school, like in different in the Nigerian setting, you have to go to. Um, one side of the school, you want to do your library clearance, you have to go to this side, you want to do this clearance. Everything is in just in one place, so you can even do it from your phone. Yeah. And you know, and it, so it's, it's, it's dope, that's, that's just the world. 
Then that's what they call gateway over here in the University of Sonia. Like everything you need to do your registration. You don't need to go to your department, you need your registration, now go to Jamaica and go and do libraries, now go to another place and go and do um health, health, health this thing. No, you do everything in one place and it's so awesome. Stressless. Okay. Um, um, can I just say something? Yeah. Actually, I'm not in the uh, University of Sunderland, but Sunderland as a whole, I like the place in the sense that um, it's one of the very few places you could actually bring up a child here in UK. Because um, five places that I've not done might have more, like, uh, have all more, you know, like places, educational centers, and all that. but. The life there, yeah, it's somehow, and if he has not taken that, might get carried away and uh, become a nobody. But here, yeah, it's one of the very few places in UK you can just bring up your child and uh, have a very good life. It's quiet and a uh, very peaceful area, and just like what you've said, it's very cheap. Like accommodation and stuff like that, you know, like, it's just, you know, it's just very much okay. Okay, I will give you guys one one minute just to summarize. There are people that are watching this video from Nigeria, from India, from uh, so many countries in the world. Can you just use 30 seconds to one minute and uh, tell them the reason they should come to UK to study or probably uh, University of Sunderland? Well, I think I have um, <laughs> why you should come to Sunderland University to study. Um, Sunderland University is a life-changing university and oh. you love it here. Okay, that's fine. Well, Sunderland will take you to the heights and the last peak. It will drive you to that peak of your desire in your career. It will take you to that extent. Sunderland is... In the bomb. Yeah, in a nutshell, the reason why I chose to study in the UK is because of the fact that I am sure of when I'm graduating and I'm very sure of when my course is starting as well. Like that is one of my top notch priority in life because I know where I'm going to and I do not want to waste time in getting to that, um, that point. So that's one of the reasons why I chose the UK. Sincerely, when, when it comes to time management, no, just give it up to them. Just give it up to them. And yeah, everybody minds their business. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, that's, that's it's fine, yes. but sometimes it could be. Yeah, it could be more ridiculous. Yeah. Like the fact that it's you know, you could imagine I've been staying where I am for almost a year, and I can't even know what I don't even know what my neighbors what they look like. Yeah, I, really like imagine. I like it that way. No, you know, like there's no chance for you to be like, hello, sometimes what's happening there? Like, you do have a boss sometimes. Time comes you know? like, I mean, they are so time. So here, yeah, if the metro is six o seven, the metro gets at least there six o seven. Huh? If the boss, if the time table is 6.20, the boss is there. 6.20? Fine, yeah. the boss might get the boss 6.20. Yeah, so it does wait, but make sure, definitely sure the boss is living 6.20. I don't know how, I don't know how they came about that thing, but I don't know if I... I've been used to it now. Yeah, you know, and like, we are so programmed. Yeah. And you wonder yeah. how, when you go to the, to the bus stop, like, when you come to my school business, and my whole stop is at the bus stop, now the bus stop, you have the timing of different buses, and at exactly that time, the bus. I'm not there. I just wonder how this road. <laughs> like we say, punctuality is the soul of business. No, I tell you, sometimes I'm like, I get no old dogs. All right, guys. All right, guys. If you like the second edition of this video, do it to like and let me know in the comment section, yeah. and we will uh, definitely gather and do the second video. second video. Alright guys, so I will end the video here. Do well to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace out!
Okay, I will end the video here. Do well to like, subscribe. Mm -mm. <laughs>